Welcome to Church of the Chair, where a Romy curse isn't needed to lose weight, but it sure as hell helps. I'm your host, E, and today, we're getting thinner. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's books, so if you haven't read everything in his catalog, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Thinner by Richard Bachman aka Stephen King. So how does Thinner tie into the Dark Tower series and the Stephen King universe in general? Let's get into that. The one and only connection that I can find in Thinner to the Dark Tower and the Stephen King universe overall is one thing. Someone says, I feel like I'm in a Stephen King movie. I cannot remember if it's narration or if it's dialogue. But there you have it. Stephen King, of course, is a character in Song of Susanna. He is a, has a major role in that book. They have to save him so that he can continue to write his story. And, of course, they come along during his fated, ill-fated van accident from 1999 where he was struck by a man driving a van who was also high on opiate painkillers. And because Stephen King is a character in the Dark Tower universe... It fits in both ways. Now, there is a unique phenomenon in the Stephen King lexicon, the back catalog, of him referencing himself in his own books before and after writing himself into the Dark Tower. As far as I can see it, as I've gone over this several times, there are two important types of Stephen King universe books. There's the one where King exists as a character in that world and is referenced in the book, such as Mr. Mercedes and them talking about the clown from It, or Pennywise from It, the mask that is used in Mr. Mercedes uh, while when Brady runs over everyone is a clown mask and they reference Pennywise. And then you have the Stephen King universe where Stephen King isn't mentioned at all. And of course, those are the earlier books. So it can be said that if Stephen King references himself as he does in multiple books, that ties into the Dark Tower because he's in Song of Susanna. And it ties into the Stephen King universe once again, because he has referenced himself in non-Dark Tower books. But that's all the time I have for you today. Did I miss anything? Do you have any corrections of anything I said in this video? And three, do you have any theories of your own on how Thinner ties into the Dark Tower universe and the Stephen King universe? Let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, my nose won't stop itching like a coke addict. Oh hell the chair What the fuck? Buy bonus content because this video is going to be hella short. I wanted you guys to talk about down there in the comments about the similarities between elevation and thinner. This of course being the far superior book in my opinion, anyways. But talk about how Stephen King reuses themes and somehow makes them entirely different stories. We are not talking about Dean Koontz playing with Labradors. We are talking about Stephen King taking a topic or a theme and cutting it into two or three or sometimes four different stories and telling a completely original, all new story from that. I find that impressive and I would love to get your guys' thoughts on that.